Hi everyone, it's Nikki. I want to welcome you back to more videos. So over the next few months, what we're going to be doing is running two different series simultaneously. One will be exclusively about practice. It's something that we haven't actually, strangely enough, talked about all that much. I mean, we have in little ways throughout the video series, but not in such a specific way. So what I thought it would be best to do is to break up the concept of practice into individual practice tips. How you can organize your time, how you can stay concentrated, exactly what to do with the time that you practice, on and on and on. So simultaneously to that, we are also going to be helping everyone who has a place at the Benedetti sessions next year to prepare for those sessions. Preparation for any single event, whether that be a workshop or a concert or even a lesson, is a bumpy road. It's not something that goes completely linear like this. And that's our first downfall is to expect it to go like that. So you have to enter into a journey of preparation and process as one that's going to be a little bit up and down. Sometimes you'll feel like you improve, sometimes you feel like things get worse, but consistency is so, so important. So over the next couple of months, we are actually going to be, as it were, holding your hand through this process. We're going to be delving deep into the specifics of the repertoire that we're going to be playing on the workshops. We're going to be tying that to more fundamental basics about playing, about the physicality of playing, about the storytelling of the pieces that we're working on, about how to approach more generally the style and attitude and sound world of any specific composer. We're also going to be talking about obviously the nature of practice, but also about nerves and your general well-being. How do you prepare yourself mentally and emotionally for an event that's coming up? I remember when I was young, before something like National Children's Orchestra, an environment where I had to mix with a lot of other young people, I would often get quite nervous and a little bit apprehensive about mixing with others and how was my playing perhaps in comparison to others and all these kind of things that you think about and I would venture to say waste time worrying about. So we want to help you and support you as much as possible in preparation for these sessions so that once you get there you feel as prepared as you possibly can be, you feel relaxed, you feel like you're already friends with us and as confident and as comfortable as you possibly can be. So as much as these preparation videos are targeted for those attending the sessions, they're obviously not exclusively for those people. We're gonna make all the content available for everybody. And we're also going to make the music that we're preparing available on the website of Benedetti Foundation. So you can go and download the piece of music and we invite you to take part alongside all of us in every step of this preparation process. I'm sure you know a few violinists or cellists, viola players, a double bass player in your area. Now, if you cannot make the workshops, we would suggest to you that you try to arrange a get together with that group. It can be as small as five people, can be as large as you like it to be, but we encourage you to actually get together a group of musicians, prepare alongside me, prepare alongside all of our tutors, and arrange an event where you all come together, play through the repertoire together. You might even be able to do it without conductor, but you can take part in a different way in the Bendetti Sessions workshop. Mm -hmm.